Your girl LMJ coming to you with today's sip, spiritual inspirational pause. And I'm going to steal from Nike just a little bit today and tell you to just do it. I have been meditating on the blessing and our father Abraham. And this morning I was in Genesis 12 and 1 and I was just thinking, God, what was inside of Abraham that he was just so bold that when you ask him to leave his land, he left. He packed up all this stuff and he left. And, and based on everything I've been studying, it wasn't because he was in a bad position, but something ignited inside of Abraham to follow you and obey you. And I'm like, Lord, I want to follow you like that. I want to obey you like that. I want that same faith. And God just started reminding me, Lakeisha, 1 John 4 and 4, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So if you work from the power of the great one inside of you, baby girl, that's absolutely nothing you can do. And then I begin to connect the thoughts. That's why I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because it's not me. It's the greater one that works inside of me. I remember when God called me to do my online daily devotional, Coffee and Conversations with Akisha. I was so scared. I was overwhelmed. I did not understand what God was asking me to do. But the presence of the Holy Spirit was like, just do this. Just follow me and obey me. And God was like with me, with Abraham, he gave me some instructions. He said, look, don't pay attention to anybody around you. Don't pay attention to anybody who say it, say it says anything. Don't pay attention to anybody. Uh, don't, don't, just don't focus on anybody else but me. Keep your eyes on me. Don't worry about the numbers. Just keep your eyes on me. And it took some maturity and it took some development. And I had to deal with fear on a constant basis of not being worried about people. And then one day I just said, forget it. I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm just in a season and a place all for God or nothing, like all for God or nothing. And so then God began to do a greater work in me and a greater work through me. And I think that's what we saw in our father, Abraham, just a holy boldness to say, you know what? I'm going to do exactly what God asked me to do. And then seeing Christ Jesus work in him because when we make our mind and set our our mind on things above that's when God can do a greater work and then there was one more scripture that I had to hold on to in numbers and in numbers it tells us God is not a God that he shall not that he shall lie and if he does not lie to us and every promise of God is yes and amen and he'll give us the power and he'll give us the strength then he'll also give us the provision and he'll give us a protection and I think that's what our father Abraham realized so if God is speaking to you and there is something that's greater inside of you, can I just tell you today, just do it. Don't try to figure out all the particulars. Shut out all the voices. As a matter of fact, don't even take this promise or this dream to anybody else that doesn't understand you or that doesn't get you or doesn't have the same type of thing that works inside of them. Don't even take it to them. You trust God. You keep your eye on God. You focus on the greater one that's inside of you. And guess what's going to happen? He's going to work it out just like he did for Abraham. I looked at this course. I looked at this journey. And every time they came to a place, God went before them. And he always and he always provided for them. And he always protected them, even when they were making mistakes. Because there was one time Abraham made a mistake when he asked Sarah to lie. My God, this story is just so encouraging. And I know for a fact that's what God is saying to you. Will you trust me? Will you obey me? Will you let me lead you into your dreams? As a matter of fact, will you let me take you on your wildest fantasies? My God, that's the kind of God we serve. So today, just do it. Just make a decision today. You know what? I'm dealing, I'm getting away from the fear. You know what? Today, I don't have time. I'm shutting out all the voices. Today, I'm going for everything that God said to me and everything God promised me. And I promise you, you if you trust and you obey, God will do the rest. Can I pray for us? Father God, I thank you for a holy boldness. My God, that we get the spirit of Nike and we just do it. And that we live beyond the voices of people, Father God, and the outside noises. And Lord God, that we walk in a season and a place of no regrets. We thank you, Father God, for the Holy Spirit that is leading us into the greater and the more of you. 
Father God, quiet our fears. Let us not look to the left or the right, but hear the sound of your voice. Thank you for going before us. Thank you for being our rear guard. We thank you for sweet peace and we rest and trust in you like never before in Jesus name. Amen. If you want to know more about the ministry, log on to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com.